What is up everyone? This is Ken here. Welcome back again to Tekken YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about the OnePlus Pac-Man edition custom home available for the mutual device users. If you're Redmi Note 9 Pro user, Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, any of these devices users, you can install this build. This is OnePlus OS Pac-Man edition. Of course, the new OnePlus 9 Pro port as it's supported ROM. So I will not recommend if this is your primary device. By the way, this does not have any kind of major bugs, of course, but still it's up to you, user's opinion. It's based on Android version 11 with the latest security patch. And of course, a lot of things from OnePlus are already implemented. Looks quite good. The performance seems to be quite good enough. I think so. Doesn't seem to be anything bad till now. For example, the battery backup seems to be very good. As, as you can see, screen up was one day, five hours, which means approximately 30 hours, 32 hours from where I'm, I'm using right now. And 8%, approximately 7 to 8% of active drain power is not so bad. It's actually good. Of course, this is OnePlus OS. So if you use for two days, three days, you'll definitely see the improved battery backup for there, of course. This is OnePlus. All OnePlus features are, of course, there. Some device-specific features will definitely not work, but some features from OnePlus like Zen mode, etc. will definitely work and it's working fine. The things are quite good. Moving on to some things here, for example, if you want to check out the device certification, if your device is certified in Google Play Store or not, yes, the device is certified, no issues here for me. The device is certified by default, it's not after installing Magisk or hiding Magisk, I haven't installed Magisk by the way. If you want to install, you can even hide Magisk for that. Safeness status, the device is certified, so safeness status should also be passed and it is passing without any issues. You can see. Your device will be considered as LE2121, which is basically a OnePlus model. The device is showing as safety status passed. So yes, if safety status is passing, device is certified. It's good. One thing, let me just talk about the L1 status. If you want to check out the L1 status, if your device has L1 status after installing this or not, let me show you that my device is showing as OnePlus LE2121 LE and the device security level is L3, which means no L1 support. By the way, I haven't installed firmware. Maybe after installing firmware, you might get the L1 certificate. But for me right now, it's not in some customs. I got L1 there, but unfortunately this time not. Also, one more thing what I've noticed that you have the Mew, you have the OnePlus camera actually. OnePlus camera is pro already installed, but some things are not working. I'm not sure do how, but some things like portrait mode etc. was not working. If I move to portrait mode, it's not working. Nightscape is there. Some features you can't switch here and then you will see the force close your app, your camera app will be force closed after some seconds, few seconds maybe. I just can see it's not working. We are just back. It's not working. Some things are quite good. Some things are not so good. For example, the camera. But as always, we have the separate option for that. Alternative available for that. You can use a G cam if you want to. Other things, of course, the SD card. SD card is there, which is just working. Sometimes in the default file manager, the SD card memory was not accessing. But in this time, no issues. This SD card is accessing. You'll be able to check out the SD card contents from the default file manager. This is also quite good and quite useful. Things are pretty much good about this OnePlus 9 Pro port and if you are interested in this one, you can install this. I will provide the link in the description. Battery backup I've already shown you, by the way, we have the clear reset, a clear stats option available for you, which is good. If you want to check out these things, you can. You can see the battery stats, if you can reset, then you'll be able to check out the battery backup for a long time and some better options available for you will be available for you. Customizations or theming etc. of course are kind of same. It does not include any kind of theming. It has only Pac-Man addition, which is already included. Pac-Man addition, of course, includes, for example, the wallpapers from them and the icon pack from Pac-Man and everything else is just kind of same. Yes, and color icons, icons you can customize. Pac-Man addition and hydrogen both are available. One thing if you saw, I'm using the Milan Pro fonts, which are one of my favorite ones, but including that a lot of font options are available here for you. A lot of font option includes the Google Sans, Chirp, and we have Fluid Sans, Oppo Sans. So if you're interested in any kind of fonts, you even don't need to simply reboot your device after applying fonts. Click there, click on save, and you are good to go. Things are quite interesting, by the way. This one plus OS, performance, speed, everything looks quite good. Gestures, the sector, three finger screenshot, which is quite useful. It's already included. Some features which are available in OnePlus are every already available there. Some features might not work for you as it is a ported ROM, so consider it to be. But it's all about user's preference. Everything else I've already shown you. If you want to give it a try, you can. I will put the link in the description for this build. This can be installed on Redmi Note 9S Pro, Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. Install the build, format data, and you are good to go. Only these things keep in mind, and I will recommend you to use Orange Fox Custom Recovery. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 